And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics, and I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Hey everyone and welcome. Well, as you're probably aware, we clapped them when we needed them. We worshipped them when we needed them. We applauded them when we needed them. Well, it seems, it seems, now we don't need them so much, we're going to desert them. This is in regards to, obviously, the NHS, and specifically, the plans to sack unjibby jabbied health workers, as then not only going to lose their careers, and everything they've worked towards but they're also 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 going to lose exit payments zero exit payments for unjibby jabbied health workers healthcare staff in england who haven't had the lurgy vaccine face being sacked without any exit payment an official document shows frontline workers must be fully jibby jabbied with two jabs by april the first meaning they must have their f had their first one on february the third now this is guidance that was published yesterday and it's for the implementation of jibby jab it as a condition of deployment vcod the 24 page document said it is important to note that this is not a redundancy exercise in the context of the regulations there is no dis diminishment or cessation of work of a particular kind this is the way they're going to try and get around it employers will not be concerned with finding suitable un alternative employment and there will be no redundancy entitlements including payments whether statutory or contractual triggered by this process so they not only are they going to make them lose their careers they're also going to make them lose any sort of severance pay or anything of the like seems like it's being uh, used as a money grab does it not the redeployment or dismissal of workers is determined by the introduction of the regulations and an individual's decision to remain unjabbed no it isn't it's you trying to force unjabbed to get jabbed we'll see how this one stands up in court everyone but it's shocking isn't it as i said at the beginning of the video we've spent two years lauding these people every single one of them frontline workers we've been out every thursday clapping for them we've been painting murals and worshipping the ground that the nhs works on now all of a sudden sod you lot disgraceful isn't it this is 250,000 workers that this could actually affect and this already affected a lot of the care home workers but we'll see if this stands up it does look like they're trying to get away with paying anything out to the people that they're going to sack in my advice anyone that's listening that does work for the nhs don't walk don't quit don't leave your job voluntarily force them to sack you then you've got grounds for discrimination and grounds for un unfair dismissal and all of the rest comes into play if you make them sack you but anyway i'd like to know everyone else's opinion what do you think if you're new to the channel don't forget to with a like comment subscribe hit the bell icon share it out do need you to share it out you know what i do go and check out the website stay sane see you on the next one